Hi everybody, I am filming this video on March 5th. It'll probably be up in about two weeks. Um, so a little bit of background. This is just my video. It's mainly for my friend Jessie, um, who I did my swap with, Tear Falls Break. And I will link her channel down below. But by the time this is posted, both of our swap videos will be posted. Like I said, this video is more or less just for her to show her what I got her and why I specifically got it for her. And I'm filming this right now because I'm going to pack the box up and get it ready to be shipped tomorrow morning. So, um... The first little things I got her, the whole idea, again, you've probably seen the swap video, but it was for me to get her stuff that's only available here in Canada and for her to get me stuff that's only available in the States. So the first thing I picked up was this little serious skincare um, bag, and it's just, it looks like that. And I was just going to fill it with stuff. I haven't packed my stuff yet, but um, I got this off the shopping channel, um, which is Canadian only. And then I picked up this mug from Starbucks because she had mentioned that she drinks coffee um, in one of her favorite videos. So it's just the Calgary Starbucks mug, which I thought was really cute um, because it's unique and I guarantee you that nowhere in the States it's all at. And then I picked up a bunch of goodies from Lacenza. I have them all in that other box, but the first thing I got her was a passport holder from Lacenza, which is only in Canada. It's like our counterpart of Victoria's Secret. And since she's a flight, aid, or flight attendant, I figured that would be useful. And I picked her up this Quo, sorry, this is like so unorganized, this Quo by Orly nail polish. It's so pretty. It's called Light My Fire, so definitely a little reminiscent of the doors. But the lighting is so bad. It's like a sparkly red. I'm sure she will have seen it in person, but I just thought, you know, it was either this or a pale pink. And I was like, pale pink is so safe. Um, and even if she doesn't like it, I just thought it was a really unique, pretty color. So that was what I got. And we agreed not to buy each other bath stuff because, like bath and body stuff, just because we're both trying to get rid of our little hoarder collections. But I had to get her this. To me, this is like signature Canadian. And I actually, now that I think about it, I think I left the price on this one. But it's wrapped so pretty, I have to leave it on. So it's called the Rocky Mountain Soap Company. Um, I've only ever found it in Banff. Um, I went to Banff and I actually picked this up because I was going to Banff anyway. And... It smells like lemon lime, and it's so, I can't describe it, like, she'll love it, I think. It's just kind of a signature Canadian thing, and I know we said no bath and body stuff, but I had to throw it in. This wasn't even included in the budget, it's just something I threw in. Then I picked up these Lacenza cinnamon mints, just with some kind of, like, pin-up girls on them. I thought it was just kind of cute, throw it in your purse, and it's got really unique packaging. Um, so that's it from there. Then... I picked up another thing from Lacenza. I just thought she could use this. Her and her boyfriend could use it. Um, hopefully she doesn't think I'm some like weirdo. But it's kissable massage oil from Lacenza. So it smells good and it also tastes good. So I thought that was fun. Um, I picked up this Joe Fresh lip balm in honey. Um, because she would mentioned that she wanted to try out any lip balms that were from Canada. Um, similar to the Vivids by Maybelline I think. So that's the color. It's sealed, so obviously. Whoops. And then I picked up a little pack of David's tea. I don't know if she's a tea drinker. I know she's a coffee drinker. This is kind of a signature brand, again, um, only in Canada, like 100% only in Canada. They have very few boutiques up here in Calgary. So it's like just a little sampler pack of, I think there's three in here. So there's like white peony, Vietnam something. I don't know. But it's just a little sampler. I thought she might like that. So, only found a Canada. She can drink it in her mug. And then I picked up this Essence Sun Club Glamour to Go Eyeshadow. And I picked her up this because she had mentioned that she was thinking about getting me the um, New York or the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. And this has really similar shades. Eight long lasting trendy eyeshadow colors, including applicator. And this palette is called Long Beach. Kind of remind me a bit of the Naked palette. They're just all really shimmery, beautiful colors. Um, so yeah, you'll see it in her video though. So this is all stuff I'm going to save to the end. Okay, keep on trudging along. Then I picked her up this Neostrata um, glycolic acid kit. And I picked it up because she would mentioned in one of her videos that she has been using products for acne. So I kind of, you know, could infer that she suffers from acne like me. I've gone through a ton of these. It's kind of just their trial size um, glycolic acid reveal new skin in just 10 days and it's only available in Canada Neostrata so I thought she might like that um yeah I mean even if she hates it it's just little trial sizes so don't feel guilty throwing them away 
but it's amazing. Like, it is really great. Then I picked up from Essence this Lash Volumizing Powder, and it was in one of my favorite videos. I think you can buy Essence in the States, but it's at very select retailers, um, and it's really readily available up here in Canada. So that's really cool. It's definitely one of my personal favorites. That's why I included it. Um, it gets to be a little bit messy when you first start using it, but it's really, really, really awesome. Um, I picked her up this... Um, Joe Fresh, which is a line. It's sold exclusively at Superstore, but they're actually expanding to the States. They have a boutique on Fifth Avenue, so it's like a higher-end um, clothing line, sort of dealio. I don't know, but they make a makeup line. It's actually really high quality. This is their gel eyeliner in chocolate, and I don't know if you can see. It's just in a glass thing like MAC, and it has a seal on there. I thought that would look really pretty. Then I picked up this, which is considered like a higher-end skincare brand up here in Canada. It's called Edivel Laboratoire. Um, so this is the Urgency Hydrating Surge Mask with Multi-Pro, Vitamin A, E, and CoQ10. Um, it's cool because it's like a gel mask, so you put it on and it doesn't dry like hard like clay. Um, but I thought it would be nice for her because she's always busy and on the go and she's a flight attendant. So it's one of my favorites, so I picked one up for her as well. And I don't know where to look in this camera if I'm looking there or if I'm looking here, but whatever. I changed the orientation of it, so whatever. Then I picked up a couple of products from Quo. So I picked up this lip crayon in Heartbreaker, and it's really pretty. This one's sealed, but I tried it at the store, and it's really great staying power. It's kind of similar to the uh, Revlon Lip Butters, but I almost find there's more pigmentation. It's super pretty. And then the Quo, Quo just released a new spring line. Again, this one is sealed, but this is in Platinum, and it has such amazing pigmentation. Like... Oh, it's like butter. Like, it's so great. Then I picked up another kind of lip balm because she had mentioned she wanted to try some lip balms from up here. So this is in, um, I don't know. What the, oh, this is Fruit Crush Kiss Care Love. I've never tried it, but it reminds me of baby lips. So that. this, These two products I got her because she specifically asked for them. So this is the Annabelle Eyebrow Crayon or Pencil in Blonde. And she said she was having a hard time in the States finding it. It comes with a little comb. And then the Marcel Cream Blusher in Raspberry. And I actually got this for free, so this wasn't included in the budget either. Up here in Canada, we have a um, kind of law that if something doesn't scan at its proper price, you get it for free. So it was um, it was marked at $8.99 on the tag, but it scanned at $12.99. So it, as long as you point it out to the cashier, you get it for free. So it's a good thing to know about. Then I picked up... This Joe Fresh Cream Blush, because she said she really liked cream blush blushes, so that's why I got the Marcel one too. This is an apricot, and I just thought it was super pretty. Joe Fresh again. Um, then I picked up, <laughs> then I picked up, then I picked up this Gosh Mono Eyeshadow in Copper, and it has amazing pigment. I tried it at the store. So it just looks like this, and it's so pretty. Gosh again is a Danish company. But it's actually, you can find it in the States, only in New York, only at this one boutique. So I got that. And then I also got her from the same line, the Holographic Hero um, Nail Polish. Because she said she liked Holographic. And it is so freaking cool. Like, I've never seen something like that. Sorry. So that's that. I got that because she specifically said she liked it. <coughs> and the last two products I got that were in the budget... Oh, no, there's three. This is the Essence Lipstick in in the Nude, and it looks like this. And I never wore a nude lip until I bought this, so I wanted to share it with her because it's so awesome for drugstore makeup. It has such great staying power, so I picked her up that. And then she asked for a mascara that you could only get up here that had a little bit of hype, a little bit of buzz. So this is brand new. It's the Annabelle Expandable. Um, so the whole idea, I, from what I understand, is you can click it to be bigger or smaller, so bigger, or, or, I don't know. But the woman at Shoppers told me it's brand new, like it's brand new technology, so that's cool. And then, the last thing I picked up that was in the budget was I just got this gorgeous pop pink Licenza makeup case. Um, I just thought it was really pretty, like really, really pretty. So... That's what I got that was in the budget. Here's where I went a little cray. I wanted to get her stuff because, okay, first of all, I was being really annoying for the swap, and I was like, can you pick me up this and this? Like, I asked for specific, a couple of specific things. 
<coughs> and she very happily obliged like she very happily obliged I haven't gotten my box yet so I don't know but she she seemed to oblige <laughs> so the extra things I picked up so I wanted to get her stuff again that you could only get in Canada so apparently ketchup chips you can only get in Canada who would have thunk it I love these when I was little then I picked up a bunch of chocolate bars hopefully she likes chocolate bars um so these are ones that apparently they only sell up here and I would go nuts if I didn't have these down in the states <coughs> so arrow smarties Kit Kat and coffee crisp because I got the coffee crisp I personally hate it but I know anyone that loves coffee it loves it <clears throat> and then I picked up this kinder egg because in the states these aren't even allowed this is the Barbie edition but apparently in the states there's a rule that you can't have items inside food because this is food and then there's a toy inside and I grew up with these so there are kinder surprise in the states but it's like different this one is the actual chocolate any Canadian is like in love with these and the last thing I got her, because again, she she happily like listened to all my bitching and moaning and what I wanted, was I made sure I made sure before I bought these that she had pierced ears, but I got these for her at the bay. They're just little juicy earrings, classic looking, and they were different, but they were still I don't know. They're really pretty, and it's just because I was being so annoying to you, so I picked those up for you. As far as packaging goes, I have a box. This looks like this. I bought a ton of bubble wrap. Oh, and I also picked up this that wasn't in the budget because we said no body stuff, but I thought it was so cute. Shimmering body scrub from Shoppers. Sh it's tropical and shimmering. So I bought some pink tissue paper. I bought these Barbie princess stickers, and I'm going to just make it super pretty. And then I thought it would kind of be cool if... I used stamps instead of just a postage label um, because postage labels are just boring and I kind of think stamps are cool so for stamps so I picked up the classic Canadian some classic queen because you gotta have your queen and then these really pretty ones for spring so that is my swap I hope she loves it I don't want to give it away because I want it. Uh, so it's time for me to start packing and... Oh, and I'm also giving her a little postcard um, that says Calgary on it, which I thought was super cute. Um, that's all for me. I better start getting this ready to go, though. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.